G'day, Jacob and Sam from Make Science Fun. Thanks for joining us today. In this episode, I'm going to explain to you why sometimes when you're on the freeway, the wheels of the cars appear to spin backwards. To help us understand this concept, first we're going to put Sam on a wiggle jiggle machine. First I'll increase his amplitude, how high he goes up and down, and now I'll increase his frequency. Now to get an idea of this concept, I have to turn on the strobe light. Okay, Sam's going up and down with a frequency of 80 hertz. So Sam's going up and down 80 times a second. And now the light is set to exactly 80 times a second. Now if I increase the frequency of the light, he starts moving up and down. Matching the frequency of Sam, the light to Sam can make him appear to stop, but really he is going up and down. He's at 50 hertz now. Changing the frequency of the light, you can change what he appears to be doing. Oh, now I'm going double his frequency. So now we're getting a double image. Woo, that's pretty cool. So what's this got to do with cars? Well, let's bring in the Formula One. Okay. Back it in, Sam. First I get the wheel turning at a constant speed. Then I turn on the strobe light. Now I match the frequency of the strobe light to the frequency of the wheel and it appears to be at rest. And it appears to stop moving. But it's not. It's just an optical illusion. And then I back off the frequency and it appears to rotate forward. And then I increase the frequency of the strobe light and it, and it appears to go backwards. Look at that. Woohoo! Hey guys, thanks for watching my Real Lego Real Science Real Good episode on why the car wheels on the freeway appear to go backwards even though the car's going forward. Obviously I've got my little remote control car there. I've got my strobe light here which I change the frequency of the strobe light to make the wheel appear to stop moving or to slowly go one direction or slowly go the other direction. But how does the effect actually work? Well if you check out the wheel Notice that the word Michael is up the top. Now, you're in the dark, you've got the dark room, and the light flashes, and you see the word Michael. Then, when the light's not flashing, it's dark. And in the darkness, the wheel is still turning. And if the light then turns on, when that word is up the top again, then it appears not to have moved. And so it's dark and the wheel's turning, and then kapoom! You see Michael up the top, it's dark, the wheel keeps turning. Kapoom. And so if you match the frequency of the light to the speed of the rotation, then the wheel appears to be stationary. And if you want the wheel to appear to go backwards, you increase the frequency of the light ever so slightly, so that when the Michael is almost up the top, well then the light kapoom, flicks on, and catches the word there. Then, again, pew, flicks on, catches it here. And so it actually appears to be going the other way. Amazing. Simply amazing. Ah. And a good question to ask is, but Jacob, where's the strobe light on the freeway? You know, it's not like there's a strobe light driving along next to the car. Well, sometimes there is a bit, you know. Because when light reflects off other wheels, like mag wheels, that actually provides a stroboscopic effect. So it's actually the light travelling through other wheels and reflecting onto the, onto the wheels of the wheels that you're watching. That's how you actually see this optical illusion. Just before I go, I've been using just this little Coolpix camera to, to take that movie, movie footage. I've got this new friend in the United States called Andrew and he's got this channel called STEM Bytes. And he films everything using Google Glass. 
and it's a pretty it's a pretty good channel you should check it out i like the one with these ear conduction bone conduction sound one sound episode and i'm wondering whether his google glass work all right with, with the frame rates and whether you get the effect so andrew i think you should check out my wiggly water wave episode how to make your own and i think you should make it and you should film it with your google glass and see whether you get the get the effect over to you good buddy please send in your likes uh please comment and uh i look forward to seeing you soon bye for now Woo! for a weekly video please click the make science fun logo below and i'll be seeing you soon